Stephen Krashen Stephen Krashen is an expert in the field of linguistics, specializing in theories of language application and development. Since 1980, he has published well over 100 books and articles and has been invited to deliver over 300 lectures at universities throughout the United States and Canada. Krashen's widely known and well-accepted theory of second language application, which has had a large impact in all areas of second language research and teaching. Krashen's theory of second language consists of five main hypotheses. The acquisition learning hypothesis, the monitor hypothesis, the input hypothesis, the affective filter hypothesis, and natural hypothesis. The acquisition learning hypothesis, the acquisition learning distinction is the most fundamental of the five hypotheses in Krashen's theory and the most widely known among linguists and language teachers. According to Krashen's, there are two independent systems of foreign language performance. There are the acquired system and the learned system. The acquired system or acquisition is the product of subconscious process very similar to the process children undergo when they acquire their first language. It requires meaningful interaction in the target language, natural communication, in which speakers are concentrated but in the communicative act. And second, the learning system. The learning system is the product of formal instruction and it comprises a conscious process which results in conscious knowledge about the language. Next, the monitor hypothesis. The monitor hypothesis explains the relationship between acquisition and learning and defines the influence of the latter on the former. The monitoring function is the practical result of the learned grammar. According to Krashen, the acquisition system is the uterine's initiator, while the learning system performs the monitor or the editor. Next, the input hypothesis. The input hypothesis is Krashen's attempt to explain how to learner acquires a second language, how second language acquisition takes place. The input hypothesis is only concerned with acquisition, not learning. According to this hypothesis, the learner improves and progress along the natural order when he, she receives second language input that is one step beyond his her current stage of linguistic competence and next the affective filter hypothesis the affective filter hypothesis embodies Krashen's view that a number of affective variables play a facilitative but non-casual role in second language application These variables include motivation, self-confidence, anxiety, and personality traits. Krashen claims that learners with high motivation, self-confidence, a good self-image, a low level of anxiety, and extroversion are better required. And the natural hypothesis... Uh, The natural order hypothesis. The natural order hypothesis is being based on research findings. Tulay and Burt 1974, Fatman 1975, Makina 1980 cited in Krashen 1987, which 
suggested that the acquisition of grammatical structure follows a natural order which is predictable. For a given language, some grammatical structures tend to be acquired early while the others late. This order seems to be independent of the learner's age. L1 background conditions of exposure and also the agreement between individual acquires was not always 100% in the studies. There were statistically significant similarities that reinforce the existence of a natural order of language acquisition. Krashen, however, points out that the implication of the natural order hypothesis is not that a language program syllabus should be based on the order found in the studies. In fact, he rejects grammatical sequencing when the goal is language acquisition. That's all. Thank you for listening.